Hey, it's Brooks here, and today we're going to be talking all about Windows 10 feature upgrades. Upgrading Windows 10 has never been easier with Windows Update for Business. There's one particular knob, or I guess setting, that we can deploy with Windows Update for Business that makes upgrading Windows super easy. So today I'm going to be talking all about something called the Target Release Version. It's a particular setting in Windows Update for Business that controls exactly what feature clients stay on or upgrade to. And this is great because it doesn't matter how long clients have deferred the feature upgrade. In fact, it doesn't use deferrals at all. It simply sets the version that the clients need to be on. Now this was released last year, and I have a blog all about that, so you can, you can read about it in the link below. So then I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough on how to do it with Workspace ONE. Also, I wanna add that Microsoft just recently fixed this to support the newer versions of Windows that have letters in the number, like 21H1, et cetera. Before this MDM CSP had issues deploying that, but now it's fixed with the May 2021 cumulative update. So all you have to do is make sure that cumulative update is applied to your systems, even as far back as 1809, and really I think all Windows version, and then configure the clients to go to 2004, 20H2, whatever you'd like. And the great thing is that you can actually keep clients on this version for as long as you want, really until the end of the life of that particular feature. Okay, so let me show you how to do this. So I've had a blog out for a while now called Windows 10 Feature Upgrades Full Control. So you can read through this whole thing. Essentially the target release version launched last year with the 2004 version, and then they patched it back to older versions. This was working great. You can read all the details here. However, there was one issue with 20H2. Once 20H2 came along, the fact that it had a little H in the version threw off the CSP as it was expecting a number. So we had to have some workarounds for a while, essentially to deploy it through GPO. Uh, you could still deploy it through a profile or sensor. So I kind of walk through how to work around this issue. But recently I spoke with Microsoft on a, an office hours <clears throat> and they came back and essentially said that this CSP is now fixed in the latest May 2021 cumulative update. So this is great news. So I want to highlight this today and walk through how to deploy this profile to your systems to easily control and upgrade them to 20H2 or newer. And if we take a look at the CSP, just as a reminder, here it is right here under policy, the policy CSP update target release version. So it allows IT administrators to specify which version they would like their devices to move to and or stay on until they reach end of service or reconfigure the policy. To create this profile from scratch, you can use the samples I have out on VMware Samples EUC Samples. If you browse to custom settings slash Windows Update for Business, you can see I've got various XMLs here that you can use. I've got standard rings for regular cumulative updates, and I've also got the target versions for different ones listed here. Really, you can take any of these. It all takes 2004. Copy this here. Go back to UEM. Under Profiles, I can add Windows Profile, Windows, Windows Desktop, Device, call it Target Feature Version. In this case, I'll be doing 20H2. For now, I'll set to Optional. Make it available to all Windows 10. Click Custom, Add, paste it in. Then all I have to do is change this data to be 20H2. Same thing applies for 20H1 and any version that Microsoft releases in the future. For Remove, this will be what happens when a device is enterprise wiped or you manually remove a manually remove the profile. People do this a few ways. You can keep it permanently on the system in case it ever gets removed, whether it's intentional or unintentional. So in this case, I'm, the console will, will send this command to remove, but it, it is in effect reapplying the same thing. Or you can zero out the data and that works as well. I'll leave it 20 H2 for now. Click save and publish and assign to your devices. Now previously, as I mentioned, it would fail on devices that were on, that did not have the, the May cumulative update. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I've got a, a few different profiles here. 
one called 20H2 with the 20H2 in the value here. If we go down to custom settings, you can see 20H2. If we try to deploy that to my VM here, which is an 1809 VM before it's been patched, failed, I'll just push it again just to show you. And there you go, you can see that the install failed. So it doesn't work when the profile is configured with 20H2. Let's go ahead and update the system. The Got the cumulative update May for 1809 installed and pending restart. So let's reboot and take a look after the reboot. Okay, so now that the 1809 May cumulative update has been applied, let's try to repush this profile. Let's see what happens here. Okay, and there we go. It looks like it successfully applied. So let's go back to the client. Take a look at where this is set. So this is set under HKLM software, Microsoft, policy manager, current device update. See, target release version is set to 20H2. So if we check for updates now on the feature upgrade, this should pick up 20H2. And there you go. You can see that it successfully found 20H2 and is going to start installing and applying this feature version. Okay, I hope you found that helpful on the easy way to deploy 20H2 to your Windows 10 systems. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.